Now, we will do as we have done. We will wait. There's nothing else we can do. The true threat is yet to show itself. It is waiting for something, us perhaps, to enter the war. We have seen their soldiers, the remnants of their fleet, but those are symptoms of a disease. It is more bait to attempt to draw us out. The actual battle is being fought through the Force, not with weapons of war. It isn't about the Republic anymore. The attack on Onderon, something was attempting to use the planet itself, to feed on it, to draw on the power there. You prevented it, but it was a stalling measure. The next time will be critical. If Jedi gather, if we wage war against these shadows now, then Jedi will die, and we will die for nothing. Whatever this thing is, it must be fought by those strong in the Force. It cannot be fought in any other way. It knows this, and that is why it is killing us. If we die, then it will win, no matter what fleet or weapons are brought against it. I see you have failed to grasp the nature of the enemy we face. Where Jedi gather, Jedi die. But not just Jedi. All things touched by the Force. The last Jedi Conclave was on Katar, a Miraluka colony. And all of Katar was destroyed. All of the Jedi killed. Including Master Zar, Master Vandar. A Jedi doesn't care if he dies. Everyone does. But when we fight, when we sacrifice ourselves, it is for others, for the greater good. But our presence must not endanger others. And as long as we were visible targets, we were a threat to everything around us. There was a gathering of Jedi on the planet. When we realized that something was attacking us, we resolved to meet secretly to attempt to find this threat. Then, Katar was no more. When we felt Katar die, there is something we felt. Something we'd felt once before. An echo in the Force. We'd felt it before, when you stood before us. Whatever this threat, whatever this hunger is, it is something tied to you. Something you have experienced directly. This echo travels in the places where death has walked, where planets have died. Massacres fuel its power. The death of life fuels it. I felt it on Doxon. And it was in the ground at Dantooine. It echoed in the ruins on Korriban. And the wastelands of Telos. Whatever disturbance in the force that would cause death on such a scale also clouds it from our sight. It is like a scream in the force, and finding its source is difficult. It has cast many echoes. So we sought out places touched by the Force, by such events. We went to Dantooine, to Telos, to Doxon. And some of us just left. We thought the enemy might show themselves. They were Sith, that much was certain. But where they were striking from we did not know. 